Now, with a tropical system threatening southwest Florida, local emergency management is closely monitoring the weather. But as ABC 7's Kate Flexer tells us, this might not just mean rain and potential flooding. It could also mean a step back in the fight against the Zika virus. As a tropical system moves into the Gulf, it coincides with another large concern for Florida, the Zika virus. This week, Governor Rick Scott reminding Floridians of the role they play in the fight. Where we're seeing mosquitoes, we're seeing standing water. There's a direct correlation. So if everybody in the state can focus on getting rid of the standing water, um, then we're going to do well. Chief of Emergency Management Ed McCrane says even if the tropical system doesn't make landfall, it will likely bring several inches of rain and leave behind standing water. Depending on how often it comes, how long it lasts each time, we could see some isolated flooding in the typical areas. And that flooding only intensifies the threat of Zika. So far, the vast majority of Florida's cases were contracted from travel outside of the country. But now more than 40 cases have been homegrown. The primary carrier of the virus is the Aedes aegypti mosquito, nicknamed the container breeding mosquito because it likes to lay its eggs in and around standing water. We really want people to, uh, after each big rain, go out and empty those containers, flower pots, trash can lids that are upside down, things like that, to, to prevent the, the growth of mosquito larvae. Whether it's something big like a bucket, something medium-sized like a vase, or something small like a pet bowl, experts say if it can hold water, it needs to be dumped out. That's an important step to take um, and be diligent homeowners to do what you can to help the city and the county uh, protect us. Sarasota resident Wayne Rubin isn't necessarily concerned about contracting the virus, but says he takes active steps to make sure his yard is as mosquito free as possible. Between the heavy rains and of course the irrigation systems, we keep an eye on, on ponding in a lawn or, or flower beds to make sure that we don't uh, have a magnet uh, or an attractive uh, area for any type of mosquito. Fighting the Zika virus one mosquito at a time. In Sarasota, Kate Flexter, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Kate, thank you.